Education is not the preparation for life. Education is life itself. John Dewey. And aren't we always learning how schools of thought are tethered to colonialism while pride in oneself and culture is accused to be radical in theory and in practice? We allow them to curse our mother tongue, making my native dialect substandard, another barrier from my birthright, no language to offer the other, the products of, of segregation, whereas city limits, busing and red lines are cold for erasure, how budget cuts attached to semantics always leaves blackness in a negative or undervalued, dependent upon who benefits a token for their appreciation. In this assimilation curriculum, we would call progress access. But how often have we seen inclusion mutate to gatekeeping or exceptionalism as if diversity and equity is an open road? Instead of intersections, they will inquire about how I got here as if my quest for my own self-determination was not enough, as if me passing your literacy test was not enough, as if I was not enough, placing an asterisk and conditions on what you know I have overachieved for, just to shame my experience, like my presence doesn't add value, just to shame my existence, because how often it distorts and pixelates the reflection of your single narrative, it seems. I'm always being told that I have to wait till tomorrow. And when tomorrow comes, I have to wait for another tomorrow. I am not a pacifist. Although my tribe is meek, the meek shall and will inherit the earth. My foremothers and forefathers were forged through fire, brimstone. No longer will you render us invisible. No longer will you render us minuscule. I'm standing in soil that is seeped in my ancestors' blood. Standing on the shoulders of giants, it is their legacy that provides proper footing, a foundation carved out a space for me to be whole, and it's built on the bricks of rebellion.